If you are familiar with iWeb, you will notice how EverWeb's user interface is similar to iWeb's. In this example, I am showing you EverWeb's user interface featuring an already created website. In the next few videos, we will be going over how to start using EverWeb, but in this video, we are going to be using my already created website. On the left hand side of the window is where all of the website's pages will appear. This area is known as the web page list. You can adjust the width of this area by hovering your cursor over the divider, then clicking and dragging to the left or right. At the top of the window you will see the toolbar which allows you to do things such as add pages, shapes and text boxes, just to name a few. On the right hand side you will see the inspector window which has all of the features for modifying the elements of your website. We'll talk about each of these features in more detail later on in the tutorials. You also have the Assets tab for managing all of your website's images and media files. Last but not least, we have the Widgets tab, which contains all of the widgets for easily adding items to your website. And again, we'll be going over each of the widgets in more detail in later tutorials. The main area of the window is the Editor, where you can create and modify your website pages. If you are using a computer with a small screen, you may want to hide the Inspector window to give you more room for editing your site. To hide the Inspector window, just go to the Window, Hide Inspector menu. You can also use a keyboard shortcut by holding down the Command, Option and I keys. This will allow you to quickly hide or show the Inspector. Now that we are familiar with EverWeb's user interface, let's begin building a website.